hey what's going on I like I like mammals I think they're very cool so that's what this video is okay so first things first we're gonna be talking about pinnipeds specifically sea lions and seals compare them so seals they're they are abysmal on land sea lions on the other hand are very good at terrestrial and uh, terrestrial stuff and at water and in water so that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool to like on design this corner please. But yeah, sea lions are pretty cool. And um, here's another fact: uh, seals, they're they're boring. Screw them. Nobody cares about them. Um, on to the sea lions. Bull sea lions, male sea lions can weigh up to two thousand five hundred pounds. But land is protected. That is as much as a walrus. Pretty big guys. Um, they are also, um, they also overlap with the the walrus in a very small area but they do okay next thing we're going to be going back in time to the megalosaurus megalosaurus which is a giant deer with nine foot length span of eight letters put, put, to put that in perspective my room is at eight feet tall your room is probably eight feet tall too put another foot on that it's, they're pretty tall. And they that's it sideways. And so, see, they went extinct for three major reasons. So, it was a very competitive thing on how they met, made it. They had to have very certain large horns. And the genetic gene pool was so low that they just couldn't reproduce anymore. Repelled it, etc. And the second reason is humans. Yeah, we weren't really the main reason. And then, because we worship them, then we have the thing that if you're carrying nine feet of, like, wait, no, that's like carrying six foot horns on us. Like, imagine carrying six foot of things that have to have blood rushing to them, and one just falls off. You would die from blood loss, and that could result in a broken back, and you can't survive a broken back. And yeah, that's how they died. And of humans, the gentle touch of mankind came in and was like <laughs> extinct. Okay, now onto jaguars. To be honest, I don't think people give the jaguars the clout they deserve. Like yeah, lions and tigers, they're cool. They're 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 fine. But jaguars, they're epic. Um they they are the most amphibious and have been known to dive. Dive down to the bottom of the water to grab stuff. Come back to the top and just... Like, they could, they could do a lot of cool stuff. They could take on crocodiles, anacondas. Pretty cool. And they were around for 500,000 years. And they were... They, they actually have halved in their actual size. They used to be up to 440 pounds. And they hunted for the things called Megatherium, which were giant elephant sized sloths to the terrestrial and that's why the jaguar is so good at killing stuff bites it there crushes down you can't escape that it can kill bulls boom so yeah they're pretty cool um next we have the clouded leopard now these guys mm, they're not as cool as the jaguar but eh, they have they have a few cool, cool things about them well, no, one cool thing about them. Um, they have the largest teeth to si to body size of any animal. Their teeth are about that long, about this long. About that long, from this finger to this finger. And their mouths, their heads, is about this long. They're basically a saber-toothed tiger, but here's the thing. Saber-toothed cats, their teeth were too big, so they couldn't bite around it. These things, they can bite around it, and it can just... So a more successful version of the 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 super tooth tiger. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, what's another cool animal? Mm, I'm trying to think of something. Something cool. Oh yeah, also seals are related to bears. The 
let's talk about how we have two different types of uh, herpes. The herpes, herpes, herpes is an entire genome of it. All primates have them. We have our certain ones, and then some ant- human ancestor. One day was like. Um, then that's how we got herpes. So guess what? You know, you know those herpes you got? Yeah, that's one of those stupid, f- freaking monk, like human ancestor. If you like, one point eight million years ago, eating a chimp, like. I have herpes, man, I have herpes too right now, and to say the least, that's a bruh, why, why are humans like this, oh yeah, by the way, we only had two, we had two, which is a very high amount for any other animal, then we had to just go along and be like, yeah, let's go to three, why, why do we do that, why, Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but that concludes my TED Talk. Um, It's not really a TED Talk. I just want to tell you guys about um, mammals and how cool they are. Um, t- next time, I'm going to be talking about stem mammals and what they are. Basically, anything that's related to a mammal more closely than anything else. Hey, guys, look. I lost a tooth. Yeah, pretty pog. That's all. Bye. I didn't end the video. That was stupid.